Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my content. If you love my videos, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you never miss another walk around video. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at this big old baby. This is gonna be the 2024 Jayco Precept 36C. Tip to tip, she's 38 feet and 10 inches, so she is a monster class A, and it is a gas coach. And your total cargo carrying capacity is going to be over 4,000 pounds. I believe I'll put it down below. It's like 4,400 pounds. So you could uh, put a car, a, a decent sized car inside this motorhome, and it would, it would carry it. Not that you're going to do that, but just for reference sake. Up front, I always start with this 120 inch windshield. It is the largest windshield in the industry made with Turkish sand. So you have very minimal distortion along the side of the motorhome and you have very small A pillars, which means that you have a nice big IMAX view of America as you're going down the road. We all love Jayco for their two year, three year warranty, right? Two plus three, it's two years on the interior build and then it's three years on the structure itself. You're gonna get a one piece fiberglass front cap on this precept as well as a one piece um, fiberglass roof and it is molded and it is pebbled so that you can easily walk up there and check your seals and check all your stuff on the roof when you need to. Coming down the side of the precept you do have the mirrors are black matte and you're going to have the side view cameras that are integrated into the actual mirror itself. The J-Ride Plus on this baby is the biggest feature. If you're looking for a bigger Class A, you might find a model that's similar in floor plan, but you won't find one that rivals the ride and handling package of the Jayco Precept, unless you're looking at the Integra Vision XL, but that's for another video and another time. The J-Ride Plus, I'll put it here right next to me, everything, all the components of that J-Ride Plus, so you can pause the video and take a moment to look at that. The biggest and most upgraded new feature for 2024 is gonna be a Bilstein steering stabilizer. So add that on to the already upgrades they have with the J-Ride Plus, and she's gonna ride super smooth down the road. An 18-wheeler is not gonna knock your socks off with the wind, and um, she'll just perform really, really well. Coming on down the row, metal slam latches for all of your storage bays. Of course, I unlocked every single one except for this, so we'll just keep on moving. Uh, opening the door here, to verify, it's gonna be 38 feet, 10 inches. 4,467 4, is, um, is the exact amount. And a full load of water is 597 pounds, just so you know. You do have a catalytic converter protector on board, right? That's that cat strap. I don't know if they, they might have changed the actual brand since this sticker has changed, but it's basically a, a protection for your catalytic converter so that people can't steal it. I guess that was a thing going around online was that they were being stolen. Awning here is not all the way out because I do have another coach next to me, but you can see you've got a really big awning that extends down the length of this full wall slide, okay? And it's on the slide out. It doesn't go over the slide, so you don't lose two feet of space on that awning, which is excellent. Interestingly enough, new windows are now square, right? That's the new thing. Brinkley's doing it. A lot of fifth wheels are doing it. So they, are, they also started doing it on the motorhomes here, and it looks beautiful. It's a really neat design, and I can't wait to show you on the inside how those, um, what are they called, Mona? The, sh the shades, how the shades work. By the way, everybody say hi, Mona, and thank you for doing the video today because otherwise I'd have to hold it myself. Uh, coming on down the line, did I not? I opened, I didn't open those two, I'm sorry. Your pass-through storage is massive on the 36C. I just wanna point out that a lot of other brands and manufacturers will have a pass-through storage bay, but it won't be nearly as tall. So this is over 12, 14 inches of space. You have skis, you have um, you know, fishing poles, you have maybe like, uh, what is it? The tiki torches, all of that stuff would fit in here nicely. I had a couple customers that had a box of tiki torches and other things and like a rug and that was like their setup when they got to the campground was they had like a box of making it their own every time and it felt like a little bit like a piece of home when they would take that box out and set it up like that so that's why i always talk about the tiki torches all right outside tv your tvs are smart so you've got a smart tv out here it's pretty big it's an insignia and then you have your uh, furion speaker system here you can hook up your bluetooth for music whatever you like to listen to and then down below Below it, you have another storage bay. It is not pass-through. Looks like this might be one of the tanks, maybe the freshwater tank here. 
and super thick baggage doors. I want to point out how thick these baggage doors are. And again, they're going to be metal slam latches. So you just want to go ahead and slam that to close it. Don't be afraid of it. Again, you have another storage bay here, right? It's rotocast. So that's like a plastic. It's going to be easy to clean. There's no carpet, so you can't get like sand stuck in there and get it really dirty. Moving on down the line, you can tell this is the propane because there's no lock. You have a Moride slide out tray for your batteries, which is great. And then you've got your propane down here and there's going to be a quick connect right here. So if you want to bring a griddle or grill and hook it up to your propane, it'll be easy access right there. You can close this door and snake the uh, quick connect, you know, your propane right out here so you can cook underneath your awning. There is another little bay and this one I did open. And there's your solar controller in there. You do have a solar panel on board with the solar controller standard now for 2024. So that's there. And then you've got a little bit of storage. And I'm sure this storage looks just like those other two that I didn't open. So you've got a ton of storage and we haven't even gotten to the other side of the coach yet. They are using a tank water heater now. So it's a very large, I'll put the size down below, but it's gas electric. The thing is with the on-demand is you only have gas. You, you can't use electric. So some people want that versatility of using both. So that's a big deal. One piece fiberglass rear cap, super high end, looks really, really nice on the back of this motorhome. There's no seams anywhere, right? It looks like a high end fifth wheel or even a high end diesel product. And you have the ladder for the fully walkable roof. This ladder is rated for 250 pounds. And while we're here, I'll point out that you do have a hitch to tow a small vehicle. Weight rating is 5,000 pounds and it has a true 500 pound tongue. At this size, if a motorhome says 8,000 pounds, it probably has a 500 pound tongue, which really means it shouldn't pull more than 5,000. So if, you've, if you're looking for a product this big and somebody's saying that you can tow 8,000 pounds, I would, I would ask that you do a little more research on that before you purchase it. On this side, you have another storage bay, right? That's super nice looking. I mean, just a ton of storage on this 36C. And then you have your gray and black holding tank dump right here. It is up out of the way. It's not gonna drag on the ground and you have easy access because you have this door. Your fuel fill is on the driver's side here. And then you do have your um, electrical outlet for your 50 amp service. Now here's the thing. You can snake it down there and close this door we just have it open right now and we ran it this way because it's easier for us to move units faster on the lot. But obviously when you get to your campground, you're going to snake it through so you can keep this door closed. And over here is your wet bay. You're going to have a color coded system. It's super easy to sanitize your tanks, to fill your fresh water. And you do have a black tank flush to the right of that outside shower. And that outside shower is going to give you hot and cold water. Just give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. We had some customers that were coming out of a unit and it was a little bit noisy. But right here, you're gonna have this storage bay and it's pretty big, again, not pass through, but that's really nice right there. And you do have a little sticker that indicates that your black holding tank is here and your gray holding tank is here. That's because you do have split tanks on this one because you've got the half bath right here as well. Coming down the line, this is gonna be another storage bay similar to the one on the other side. I would say that this is about maybe three and a half four feet wide and two feet deep and then another three feet tall so pretty big and another bay here this is the other side of that pass-through storage bay so again huge honestly gabby could probably fit in that pass-through storage bay but i'm not going to do it because i don't want to get super dirty and then finally up front here the biggest thing, the baddest thing, is your 5,500 watt Onan Cummins generator. This generator will run everything in the coach and it will run off of your fuel tank. So you have, I think it's, I'll put it down below, I think it's 80 gallon fuel tank about, and it will run off the gas tank until it hits a quarter tank and then it shuts off to prevent you from completely losing um, all your gas to get to your destination. Uh, one thing I wanna point out is you do have slide topper standard, so they're gonna be like awnings up above the slide outs. And that's going to protect your slides when you're bringing them in and out from leaves and branches and things like that. Without further ado, that's all the outside. So let's go on in and check out the inside. So we're standing in the 36C and the first thing that you notice is it's big and open and airy. You've got a lot of windows here, right? Look up, look at these new wood valances, super clean and sharp looking. And then these are the, um, shades that I was talking about. So actually the shade on the top is going to be the blackout shade, right? And the shade on the bottom is going to be your day shade, but also it's going to be your bug shield if you want to open the window. So it doesn't have a screen that's going to pop out. 
because that's the biggest problem with those with the motorhome screens is if you ask people who have motorhomes they constantly pop out when you're driving when you're parked when you're opening the window so this one actually has this almost emergency exit style window which hasn't been opened as you can see it was a little rough to open for the first time but opens all the way so you can get a nice airflow and then that would protect you from the bug so super simple easy clean looking i love these new windows for 2024. you do have some storage up above and all on gas struts as jaco always does it's glued and screwed cabinetry back here there's no staples on the 36c you're going to get the couch and then you have these two recliners next to it uh, there may be options for other models for other floor plans but for this one we stocked it like this this is going to be a full pull out sofa so this will sleep two people and then these recliners i'm not plugged in right now so they're not going to work but they go pretty far back like you could lounge and really relax and probably fall asleep and watch tv your fireplace here does put out um 5, 5100 btus of heat something around there yeah 5100 BTUs of heat. So in Florida, especially in the in the fall, in the winter, even down here, you could run that and never run your um, furnace, which is great because that's electric instead of running your propane furnace. Uh, directly across from me is the dinette. This drops down, sleeps another two people. You do have seatbelts in every seating location in a Jayco, so there's plenty of places for everybody to safely be in the unit while it's going down the road and then sleep. This dream dinette, you just unhook it and drop it down. It's on a strut, so there's no leg to have to mess with. And then your TV is on a televator. So you just come over here, you push the button and it'll come right down. We're not gonna sit there and watch it come down because it takes a minute, but you get the gist. Up front, before we go to the rest of the coach, both of these seats are six-way power seats, so super comfortable. They both swivel all the way around for more additional seating when you're hanging out all together. There's a place here for a table that will come with the unit that has two more cup holders. So if you have a lot of people hanging out, eating, drinking in here, you can comfortably hang out here. Your um, auto leveling system is to the left here. You just push a button and the coach will level itself, so that's awesome. And then there is a nightshade that comes directly down here for full privacy. So there's curtains everywhere. Everything closes off at night. Now this bed above me is a big feature. It's an add-on. So you can option without it and you'll get additional cabinetry or you can option this 750 pound rated bunk. It will drop halfway down. There is a ladder that folds. It's in the back closet and that will sleep an additional two people. And there is a protective guard to put on either side of the bed so that nobody rolls out of that bed. So um, we haven't even gotten to the master yet and we can sleep two four possibly six people if it's a couple of little kids so a lot of sleeping room for the whole family in this 36c this might be a great unit if you have grandkids that won't always come with you because you're not going to waste space with a with a bunk model um, but you can use every single thing if people choose to come with you solid surface counters in the kitchen you do have a cover here it's put away right now but nice big deep stainless steel sink and then you have a massive high point microwave your three burner cooktop and your furion oven here there is a place to put your garbage can it's on the left side of the sink there's no shelf on that side and then they put a shelf on the other side so you can actually utilize all the space there as well and this is really cool guys this huge refrigerator so this is like a residential style fridge you've got the fridge and freezer it's what the french door style it's called and you have an ice maker and a water filter and that actually is hooked up a lot of brands will give you this fridge and they won't actually hook up the water because of a risk of a warranty jaco does fully prep this it's ready when you put water in the tank or you put the city fill it's going to start making ice on you which is great the half bath here is a really big feature you have a porcelain foot flush toilet and then you've got a little sink here and your medicine cabinet so you do have some storage in there there's a vent fan up top above me and there is a nice big window that opens up now the biggest thing on this and i'm going to borrow the camera a second because it's easier if i just grab it and go around you do have storage up here right oh that's so big gabby it almost looks like you could do a washer dryer and you know what these slatted doors that means that you could put a washer dryer in there. So yes, folks, it's a bath and a half and you can get a stackable washer dryer, not a combination, thank you, which is excellent. Stepping into the bedroom, keep on going. 
You've got a king bed in here, okay? It's on the slide out. You've got storage up above it. You do have a couple of USB, USC chargers here. This looks like a wireless charger too that you put your phone on top of. And the king bed is standard, which is excellent. You also have two 15K ACs. So you've got your second AC right here in the bedroom. And while we're looking at the ceiling, I wanna point out that it is a soft touch ceiling. Why would that be a big deal, Gabby? Well, if you have a hard ceiling and the condensation starts building around this AC vent, it's gonna start to yellow. With this soft touch, you can see the condensation. You can just take a rag and wipe it up. And it also dims the noise of the rain on the fiberglass roof. So that's one of the negatives to a fiberglass roof is the noise of the rain. But with this soft touch ceiling, it does minimize that a little bit. But hey, maybe you're like me and you like to sleep with white noise on. So rain on the roof is a really nice sound for you. <laughs> um, you have a dresser either side you have a his and hers or hers and hers dresser and then the ladder is in here like i said for the bunk up above and you have a tv here also a smart tv that's going to be on a gas strut so there's a little bit of storage back there it does not have a, a lock box or a security box you would have to purchase one but that might be a good place for it and now that i said it, it's probably not because that's an obvious spot right a bed is going to have some storage underneath, but as you can hear, it's a little rough for me to open this because it doesn't have a gas strut. There is a little arm that you can pull up and open this for easier access. Maybe this is like extra linens, blankets, towels, things that you won't necessarily, winter coats if you're going somewhere that's gonna be cooler eventually, but you don't need them right away. And finally, stepping back into the bathroom. Biggest thing on this bathroom is gonna be this shower. So stepping into the shower, I am 5'2", and uh, I've got plenty of room. I can wave my hands in the air like I just don't care. So if you're six foot or so, you should still be able to comfortably get in the shower. And then um, if I step back out, sorry, Mona, I'm gonna be right in your way there. You have a nice countertop. It's not massive, but it'll do the job. And you do have your stainless steel sink. And then you have your medicine cabinet here, which is pretty big. Finally, there's a second porcelain foot flush toilet. So we love that and you've got a nice big window as well as the vent fan in the bathroom so overall a great unit pretty big it's 30 almost 39 feet so i you know that's some of the hesitancy as people are like it's a it's a really big coach gabby but if you're looking for something with opposing slides that really opens up the space if you really want a bath and a half right you want the residential fridge you want all the storage all the upgrades and you don't want to drop on the price tag of a diesel this is definitely a fantastic option and so without further ado that's all i have for today this has been the jaco precept 36c my name is gabby i work for blue compass rv thank you so much for watching and until next time happy camping